It's a beautiful midwinter's morning here in New Zealand and we've shot up to the seaside town of Omaha, just north of Auckland and we're going to go on a midwinter's adventure to the beautiful Great Barrier Island. Brad and I have loaded the Surtees 750 up for an overnight trip so we'll head across and see if we can chase down some midwinter fish. It's been a couple of years since I've been to Great Barrier and I'm pretty excited to get across there and see what we can find. So we'll get into it. Yeehee! Where's the bait fish guys? Show us the way to the snapper. Pretty good sign on the garment. Hopefully, they're snapper. We'll see. Oh well. Doesn't feel like a world beater, but even in the strong current, got to the bottom and got a customer straight away. Pretty sure it's a snapper. Two snapper, what? <laughs> if ever you needed an example of how effective these Shimano Kaburas are, two snapper, one lure. Amazing. They're juvenile snapper, so I won't muck around with them too much. We'll get them back. <laughs> Seems like we've found a few snapper in the bay. Here we go. Beauty. Great fish. And that's on the new Dungeness Crab Lucanus. Awesome. It's a good fish. The Lucanus is a tried and trusted lure, no doubt. But that colour there, Dungeness Crab, it's a new colour that's just released. And that is my first snapper on it. Luckily for us, We've got dinner sorted now. Not so fortunate for the snapper, but he will not be wasted and will be enjoyed for supper. A little bit of attention on that. Lacanus. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was a very subtle bite. It's quite a dead weight. I think it could be a. Uh, on Dory, if we're lucky. That's beautiful. Phew. I'm gonna stop saying this is my favorite eating fish in the ocean, because over the course of season two, as I've been editing each episode, I've said it a lot. So I'll say this. This is a delicious eating fish. Beautiful white flesh, delicious fillets. He found that new Lucanus colour irresistible. And that is exactly what we're looking for for tonight's overnight adventure because that's going to be another welcome addition to our dinner table tonight. Beauty! Oh well, slowly but surely, Great Barrier Island has given up a few fish. Mix it up and try a Ngetsu bottom ship. Okay. Made a change to a bottom ship. Very interesting bite. I sort of felt to feel the fish mouthing the lure and then dropping it and then mouthing it and dropping it. So we'll see what it is. I suspect it's just a snapper, but here he comes. Might be foul hooked or something because it feels like there's a bit of weight, but it's not pulling particularly hard. Snapper. Hooked in the mouth, shows how much I know. No complaints when you're catching fish like that in the winter. There we go. Well that, it's a lovely snapper. That one was hooked on the Ngetsu bottom ship from Shimano. Very strange hookup, quite an aggressive bite on the drop. 
Ooh. I'd be surprised if it's a snapper. It's a heavy fish. Ooh. It's just making a slow run for the bottom. Hey, there's some weight there. Let's see if we can get his head turned. You gotta be careful after these long fights, you know, when you're trying to get that line back with that heavy lure. You know, it would have worn a bit of a hole in its mouth. You don't want to drop it back out the hole, so you've got to be pretty careful to keep the tension on. Here we go, we've got some colour. What is it? Kingy, definitely a king. It's all good. Jeez, it put this bike gear to the test. Oh my god, jeez, he's in good nick. He's been gorging himself. Well, Oh, there you go. That bottom ship just fell straight out. It was exactly what I was worried about, the hole getting worn, but there you have. Geez, that's a nice weighty kingy. On six kilo line, that was a lot of good sport. Nice little bay on Great Bear Island. So there we go, quite the smorgasbord we've got today. Kingfish, John Dory, snapper. Gotta love New Zealand. But we won't muck around too much with this guy. Get him back in the water. There he goes. All right. Whew. Interesting days fishing. Jeez, that was one hell of a fight. Anyway, let's go find some more fish, awesome. The gannets have taken to the skies and we've had a wave of kingfish come through the bay. So, as often happens with these missions, when you haven't really got a plan, you just kind of go with the flow. And it seems like, for the time being, our snapper moocher session has turned into a silly string kingy session. you got to love it. Very respectable kingfish on six kilo line. Epic sport fish. Seems like there's packs of them around here. Pretty exciting stuff. Beautiful. See ya mate, thank you. Yeah. A few little scattered marks at 20 meters I suspect. There those kingies again. There we go. Well that was fairly instant hook up. Fantastic fun on this light gear. These kingies, they are absolutely loaded with bait. Their stomachs are tight as a drum and they're actually disproportionately heavy for their body size. And it, geez, they fight hard. There we go. Kingies. Win a fairness. These are durable fish, these kingfish. They never fail to amaze me. Pound for pound, they fight as hard as anything in the ocean and they're tough. Beautiful, beautiful kingies. Amazing. And that's what he's eating. Bottom ships. Deadly. That is a beautiful kingy on six kilo line. You struggle to find a better sport fish. Cheers, mate. Thanks for the fight. See you when you're 30 kilos. Yoo -hoo -hoo! Oh, this bay is a little bit like a shopping aisle over that side of the bay where the gannets are, are the kingfish. Then we pop over to the other side of the bay and on my first drop with the bottom ship. I've hooked snapper. And literally we're 500 meters from where it was just all kingies. So it's pretty cool. Great Barrier Island is a special place, no doubt. Very lucky to live in New Zealand, aren't we? There we go. Absolutely stunning fish. That's what it was caught on. 110 gram Getsu bottom ship. Beautiful. We've kept a couple for our supper tonight. So I'll put this guy home. See you, mate. 
Well, the day's dragging on a little bit, and in preparation for tonight, I thought I might just grab a little bit of fresh bait. Here we go. This bay is chocker with live baits, and our live bait tank is looking pretty loaded. The sun's dipping towards the horizon, and our anchorage for the night is about 500 metres that way. So I think I'll chuck these last couple of live baits in the tank. We'll go get set up. We'll rig a couple of Shimano bait runners up, and we'll get ready for what might be an epic stray lining session, hopefully. And besides, looks like I might have myself a bit of a mess there anyway. Well, the sun's long since set. Beautiful sunset. Lovely dinner of fresh snapper and John Dory. A few stray line snapper in the dark to keep us entertained, but I'm starting to feel pretty naked. The current's not really running, so I think I'm going to call it a night. Bunk down and sign off from an epic day at Great Barrier Island. Yoo!